Absolutely. Um, all right, so let's go through some more of these questions because I want to make sure that everybody, uh, Zach says he's new to Wilopo. Um, his leads were turned on Friday. He's received eight to nine leads and he responded to all with a phone, text, and email through Follow Up Boss. He hasn't had a response. I can see most are opening the emails. What else can or should I be doing? So, um, well, first, if you, Shana, if you had an agent tell you that, you know, hey, I called nine leads, they didn't respond, they're opening the emails, what would be a piece of advice you would give to an agent on your team that would say that? Assuming it's your market, you know, your leads in your area, uh, what would you recommend they do? Um, I would recommend that you pay attention to how your lead type is coming in. See if there's a pattern of, for us, a response, depending on how the lead source was coming in. And um, don't just text them and think if they don't respond via text with the auto setting. So what really worked well for us is just tweaking our auto set text. And if they're going to respond to a text, they're going to respond right away normally. So if they don't respond to that, make sure you call because you might hit a wrong phone number. And then that's when you want to email them. And then for anybody that's not utilizing, of course, the action plans that YLOPA will set up. They've been tremendously amazing to us to set up all those action plans and copy from all the best realtors from the country and put those action plans in. So I would say you need at least an eight day follow up and just try to hit them different ways. So if they don't respond via text, call right away to confirm that it's given a working phone number and then email and then just keep pushing them listings and then we put them in a watch status or a nurture status and then we'll hit them on the auto dialer just to see you know, based on the priority alerts, but we'll just shuffle them aside because I can even show you an example of one. Um, if you're saying the right things and it might be your scripting, it's easy to schedule. We right, had right. several this week that I felt too, is like, a, and when I get back into it, like within Kayla and I, just a few text messages, we scheduled a few showing. It's just asking the right questions, but not being too pushy. You're just being a concierge. So I love well, to look at anybody's scripting. We're not the best. We did learn, learn the hard way and we've tested a lot of things, but if there's anything we could ever do to help any of you, or if you want somebody to deep dive into your dash, I know that YLOPO and Barry has been amazing, but sometimes it's just a few tweaks or scripting. Right. And so one thing I want to highlight about what she said, that's super important, you know, do you know the ads, uh, um, that are generating the leads. And some of you are like, well, how do I know that? Well, I would highly recommend you email support and say like, can you quickly either show me in the knowledge base where I can, I can kind of dig out where the leads are coming from? Because so many times, you know, we, you know, I would talk to agents across the country, they run an ad for waterfront homes and then they, the lead clicks the ad, you entice them and then they land on, you know, farmland. On your on your website right so it's it's and then the messaging is uh hey I, I see you're looking for a fixer upper right like the text and so there's like three separate messages but remembering what they originally came in off of like what did the fish nibble on what was the bait and if they're interested in that bait you need to keep your messaging the same all the way through and so knowing kind of uh you know where that demographic what what's working what isn't working and and the whole idea behind mission control is transparency Normally with a company, it's, um, you know, there's, a, there's a magic curtain and, and I'm not gonna show you, but I'll tell you what's going on. Mission Control just sets it up to where it's transparent and you can actually effectively repurpose your marketing dollars to, this, to the area that's, that's working best. Now, if you don't do that, Wilopo is working on your behalf to say, well, this isn't working as well, so we're gonna repurpose it here. But knowing that demographic so that you can pepper your script, your phraseology, your text, and really connect with the person. It, 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 that would be more or less. If it's a homeowner, if it's a homeowner move up, trade up, that they're relocating, you're gonna to wanna to have to know if they're gonna list before they buy. Um, and some are easier to schedule right away. And that's what another thing that we track, not only the demographic, but when do they come in? Was this a month old lead? Did we schedule it right away? Or was this, we've closed deals as, you know, six months to a year later from somebody just looking, not responding, and then all of a sudden they're ready. So that's the right. purpose of just building that database. Some of them won't be ready right away, but you just keep 
pushing the listing alerts 